Story of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Olga. Olga. Yes, Boris. Come out here and sit with me on the wagon steps. Coming, Boris. Ah, you're too boo-blitzky. Garachi boo-blitzky. You happy, Boris. Happy, I am most happy. And the reason? Nicholas is not in the wagon. No, no one is inside. Good. Listen, Olga. I feel fairly certain Patsy is going to turn over $20,000 to me. Why do you think this? She asked me to tell her more of my plans about taking the circus to South America. Mm, she's very interested. Very interested. Oh, so interested in the enjoyment of the trip, she doesn't realize her 20000 would only be, how you say, drop in the bucket. It would not be well if she talked with someone wiser than herself. Well, I told her not to mention it to anyone, and she will heed my words. I have no fear of that. I have completely captivated her, Olga. Are you boasting, Boris? Would it be bad if I boast a little of my accomplishments? No, Boris. You are clever. You may blow your whistle a little bit. <laughs> blow my whistle? <laughs> you mean put my horn? <laughs> Look, Boris, here she comes now. Who? Patsy, with Jerry over there. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, hello. What's your hurry? Big business, Boris. Hello, Olga. Hello, Patsy and Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's in a hurry to get over to the office wagon. A package just arrived for him. Oh, yes, the package Mr. Randall spoke of. Uh -huh. So you haven't seen what it is yet, eh, Jerry? No, not yet. Patsy just told me about it. Uh, come on, Patsy, let's hurry. That's right, you're anxious. And I don't blame you either. Uh, you'll excuse us, won't you? And certainly, go right ahead. Of course, Patsy, run along. Uh, come on, Ray. <laughs> Wait, Jerry, I'm going with you. Oh, come on, then. <laughs> you weren't even friendly to Boris and Olga. Well, I can't help it. I waited so long to find out just what was in that safety deposit box of Dad's. That now, well, now that it's here at last, of I... Of course, Jay, I understand. You You just can't wait. Well, wouldn't you be anxious, too? You just bet I would. In fact, I am. What do you mean? Well, after all, I had a hand in helping you locate that box, and I'm interested, too. Oh, I hope it's something worthwhile. So do I. Maybe by now Mr. Grayson's found out about that property in Montana. Uh, what do you mean, found out about it? it? It's yours, isn't it? Oh, sure, but Mr. Randall didn't seem to think the property was worth much. Oh. Mr. Grayson will most likely tell me all about it in a letter. Yes, sir. In just a few minutes now, you'll know a whole lot of things that'll have a great deal to do with your future. Oh, I wish I could look ahead at my future. Oh, I guess you know pretty well just what you'll be doing next year and the year after. Yes, and even the year after that. Oh, I don't know about that, Jerry. Next year, I may be in South America. What? Uh-huh. It looks that way. You mean to say you're not going to be with Mr. Randall? That that you're going to leave the circus? This circus, Jerry. You see, uh, I have an opportunity to go with a show that's going to tour all through Brazil and Argentina. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Well, Jiminy, that, that's sure hard to believe. Hmm. Well, come on, let's hurry. Gee, I, I sure hope Mr. Randall's in the office wagon. Oh, uh, he'll be there all right. He told me he'd wait for you. Hey, one side, young fellow. It's me, Mr. Randall, and Patsy. Oh, hi, Jerry. Come on in. The door's unlocked. <laughs> Go ahead, Patsy. Uh, come on, Rex. Here he is, Mr. Randall. Uh, good. Well, Jerry, I guess Patsy told you about the package. Yeah, from Mr. Grayson. Well, here it is. All yours, Jerry. Thanks. <laughs> Don't look at it. Open <laughs> it. <laughs> we want to see what's inside. That's right. Patsy and I are both hoping there's everything in that box a boy could wish for. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, here goes. Yeah. 
Oh, say, I nearly overlooked the letter. Uh, here, Jerry, this uh, letter came with a package. Okay. Hey, this is sure wrapped up good. Hurry, Jerry. I am. There now. Hey, look. Here's Dad's medal. Medal? Yeah, he got it when he was a soldier for bravery. Oh, well, let's see it, Jerry. Here. And look. Oh, gee, I, I'm sure glad to get this. What is it, Jerry? Mom's picture. Oh. She was pretty, wasn't she, Patsy? Oh, yes, and such a sweet smile. Uh, here, Jerry, uh, here's your medal. I say I'd hang on to that if I were you. That's a mighty nice thing to have. Not, not every boy's got a medal like that, I'll tell you. You bet I'll hang on to it. Now, what's this? Hmm, looks like some kind of a map. Say, maybe you'd uh, better read this letter before you get into those papers. It might explain things as you go along. Mr. Randall's right, Jerry. You better see what Mr. Grayson has to say. Yeah, all right, here's the letter. Okay. Uh, I'll read it out loud. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, it says, Dear Jerry, I have just mailed under separate cover the contents of the safety deposit box, along with a new deed to the Montana property made out in your name. Uh, the little map, as close as I can figure, is a plan your father had for a dude ranch to be built on the property. Ah, well, that's what we wanted to find out. Wait, wait I finish the letter first. Then it says, uh, You can consider my services in this matter a gift from Dad and myself. Please remember us both to all our friends in the circus. Sincerely yours, Richard Grayson. Oh, isn't that nice? That's just like Johnny Bradley. Then he's not going to charge me for doing all he did? No, I guess he isn't. Say, Jerry, you'll have to write him a nice letter of thanks. You bet I will. Now, let's see this map here. Hmm. Hey, look, Mr. Randall. Yeah? That's what it is. It, it's a plan for a ranch. Uh, see here? It says ranch house by this drawing of a house. Uh-huh. And, and over here is the stable. And there's a place for a tennis court. And guest houses. Yeah, that's quite a layout your dad had in mind, Jerry. Maybe someday I can build it, just like Dad planned. That's possible, Jerry. Uh, say, where's the deed to the property? Oh, uh, here it is. Mm, boy, it looks important, doesn't it? <laughs> I say, it is important. Well, look here, 42 acres. Say, that's a nice piece of land. No, I'll say it is. Gee, I wish I could go out there and see it. Well, you might get around to that someday. You're a lucky boy, Jerry. That's a nice little start for you. Well, I guess that's settled now. Yeah, I thought I'd never find out what was in that box. <laughs> it was worth waiting for, wasn't it? I'll say. Uh, you're going to show bumps now, hmm? Uh-huh. I promised I would. All right. Well, Patsy, what's new with you? Oh, she's going to leave us, Mr. Randall. She's going to South America. What? Jerry Dugan. That's what you told me. Oh, what's this, Patsy? Oh, it's not settled yet, Mr. Randall, but I have an opportunity to buy an interest in a circus that's going to travel down there. Oh, for your $20,000? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, you uh, can't expect much of an interest for that. I, I thought you decided to buy an annuity with your money. I did, but this proposition came up, and I can double my money, so oh, I now, thought... Oh, now, uh... wait a minute, Patsy. Yes? It's uh, it's none of my business what you do with your money, and I, I don't like to advise you, but I think you should know a little more about the business end of a circus before you invest your money. Well, I... Uh... Uh, I have your interest at heart. You know that, and I don't want to see you make a mistake. I know. Uh... Tell me about this deal now, and let me see if I can't help you out. Say, can I look at this book while you're talking, or should I go out? No, oh, stay sure, here, Jerry. Oh, sure, sure. Stay, stay there and read it at my desk. Okay. Uh, if you'd rather not talk about it, Patsy, that's all right with me, but I, I just think that perhaps... Oh, I do I... want your advice, Mr. Randall. I just didn't want to trouble you, or I would have come to you about it. All right. Well, go ahead, Patsy. Well, uh, in the first place, Mr. Randall, I, I hope you won't ask me to tell you the name of the other party for... For several reasons. That's all right. I'm not at all interested in who it is that's making you the proposition. I'm only interested in the proposition itself. Well, this party, Mr. Randall, is putting up the biggest part of the money himself. He's a good businessman and knows quite a bit about the workings of a circus. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and for my $20,000, he's going to give me a fourth interest in the show. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What? What's the matter? A fourth interest in the circus for only $20,000? That's what he told me, and, and I'm to get a fourth of all the profits, too. Uh, now, look, Patsy. Do you have any idea what it would cost to send even a fair-sized circus to South America? No. Well, I I don't either right at the moment, but I'll venture to say it would cost at the very least about uh, fifty or $75,000, and that's just for the boat fares and shipping the animals. Really? Well, that's a conservative figure, Patsy. Besides that, there'd be the salaries, the feeding of the animals, the and, and the entire troop, uh -huh. and that would run around $3,000 a day for a show much smaller than this one. Oh, I guess I just didn't stop to figure. Now, mind you now, I haven't even mentioned the initial cost of getting the show together. If I only tried to guess at that figure, it would stagger you. Animals, canvas, rings, generators, uh, mess top, and... Oh, I could go on and on. That's right. I, 
I guess I wasn't thinking. You see, now, you could hardly expect a fourth interest for just $20,000. Mm. I wonder. Yeah, if you're wondering that uh, whoever made you this deal is just scheming to get your money, I'd say you were right. Oh, I guess I've been blind, Mr. Randler. I'm so glad I talked with you. Yeah, there's no such thing as getting rich quick, Patsy. It's much better to take a small return on your money and be safe than to try to double it in a hurry. Well, my mind's made up now, and indefinitely. I'm going to buy that annuity. Well, that's a wise choice. Your check is still in my safe here. I'll get that annuity within the next few days before any more clever schemes come to my attention. Good girl. Well, Jerry, that uh, book must be interesting. Jerry. That's right, Rags. You help out, too. Huh? <laughs> I'll say that book is interesting. His mind is a million miles away. <laughs> if I'd have known he had this book here, I'd read it long ago. It's all about animals yeah, and horses. You were really poking your nose in that book. <laughs> uh, all your business affairs settled? You bet they aren't. I'm a whole lot wiser. Uh, but uh, not sadder. Hmm? No, thanks to you. Then you're not going to South America? No, sirree. Uh, I'm going to Ireland this winter to visit my grandmother. Next spring, I'll be right back with Randall Brothers Circus. Hooray! That is, if you'll have me, Mr. Randall. Why, say, I couldn't operate the show without you, Patsy. Say, say Jerry, uh, what are you going to do this winter? Well, I'm going to stay at winter quarters, of course. Oh, uh, who decided that, Jerry? Well, uh, You mean uh, that's what you'd like to do, hmm? Well, I haven't thought about it much, but, gee, I'd hate to be away from all my friends and the animals and everything all winter long. Well, I've thought a little bit about it, Jerry. Yeah? Uh, quite a little bit. Young man, you're going to school. To school? Uh-huh. There you are, Jerry. But, well... Uh, you know very well that you've got to complete your education. Yes, sir. You're going to school. Uh-huh. Well... Oh, say, look. There's Pete out there. I'd better see him a minute. I just thought of something. Uh, see y'all later. Come on, Rags. Hey, Speed. Speed. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Randall? Yeah, did you see Jerry trying to hedge out of our discussion about the plans for his future education? <laughs> well, well, yes. Oh, yes, he did seem anxious to yeah. cut it short. <laughs> do, uh, do you think he will go to school? Why, of course. That's the only thing for him. I think you're absolutely right. Mm, he's a great boy, Patsy. Oh, he surely is. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a boy who's going to amount to something someday. You'll hear plenty from Jerry Dugan. <laughs> 